In this video, we'll look at Haiti's political culture. Let's get to it. Haiti is an independent French Creole-speaking Caribbean territory with a unique history. It is the only Caribbean nation to have gained political independence through a series of successful revolts of the enslaved, which began in 1791 and ended with the Independence Proclamation in 1804. The Haitian political system mirrors the French political system. This is not surprising, since Haiti is an ex-colony of France. Like France, Haiti's political culture is based on a semi-presidential system. In this system of government, the president co-leads with the prime minister and cabinet. He appoints the prime minister, who is leader of government. The president has executive power. This differs from the Westminster system, where the president is ceremonial. Here are the features of the semi-presidential or dual executive system. 1. The head of state, a president, is popularly elected by the people every five years. An individual elected to the office of president cannot be elected consecutively. This clause was instituted to prevent dictatorship, a political problem that has plagued Haiti's political history. This officer shares executive powers with a prime minister and cabinet. The chief justice of the Supreme Court is in line to succeed the president in case of death or resignation, according to the 1987 Constitution of Haiti. 2. The Prime Minister This officer is appointed by the president. He comes, he or she comes from the majority party. The prime minister is the head of government. This person appoints the ministers and secretaries of state. 3. The executive. The president and prime minister together constitutes the executive branch of the government. 4. The national assembly. This is the legislative branch of government. There are two chambers in the national assembly. The chamber of deputies, elected by popular vote for four-year terms, and the chamber of the senate, elected by popular vote to serve six-year terms. One-third of the Senate is elected every two years. The National Assembly, or Assemblée Nationale, meets for specific purposes. 5. It has a multi-party system, in which all parties can run for national election and gain control of government offices, either separately or in coalition. 6. It is a unitary state. There is one central government that governs the entire state. They have administrative subdivisions called departements. However, these administrative regions only exercise the power that the central government delegates to them. Haiti has 10 administrative departments. If this is still confusing, another way to understand this administrative system is to compare it to the United States. The United States government is federal, in which the government is divided into states. Each state have their own administrative autonomy. They make their own laws and regulations. Therefore, rules and regulations vary from one state to another. In the unitary state, all laws are uniform and applicable nationwide. In our next lesson, we'll explore the topic of culture and identity. See you then. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.